What's up guys, I'm CEO Foxtrot with another Red Dead Online video and today I'll be showing you how to use 33 available horse controls including some tips and tricks so that you can maximize your horse's performance throughout the game. Now keep in mind that my horse Big Scout here is fully bonded so if some of these controls don't work for you, you'll probably need a higher bonding with your horse. It's a really beautiful day today, so let's get started. To mount your horse, stand near your horse and tap triangle on PS4 or tap the Y button on Xbox. You can also rear mount your horse on the go by running directly towards the back of your horse and tapping triangle on PS4 or tap the Y button on Xbox. To walk your horse forward, hold the left thumbstick forward on both PS4 and Xbox. To turn your horse, move the left thumb stick left or right on both PlayStation 4 and Xbox. To stop walking, let go of the left thumb stick. To walk your horse backwards, double tap R1 and hold on both PlayStation 4 and Xbox. To walk in place, hold the square button on PS4 or hold the X button on Xbox. To sidestep right, hold the square button on PS4 or hold the X button on Xbox and hold the left thumbstick to the right rear. To sidestep left, do the same thing but hold the left thumbstick to the left rear. Yeah. To rear up on your horse, hold down the R1 button and double tap square on PS4 or double tap the X button on Xbox. To calm your horse down, click the left thumbstick on both PS4 and Xbox. To calm your horse down even more, click and hold down the left thumb stick on both PS4 and Xbox. This control also increases bonding with your horse. Did you know the horses have six speeds in addition to walking? Here I'll show you what they are. Tap and hold the X button once on PS4 or the A button once on Xbox which gives you a slow trot which is speed number one. Tap and hold once more is a medium trot which is speed number two. Tap and hold once again is a fast trot, which is speed number three. Yeah. Tap and hold once again is a slow gallop, which is speed number four. Yeah. Tap and hold again is a fast gallop, which is speed number five. And tapping that button over and over again will put you into a full sprint, which is speed number six. To jump your horse, tap square on PS4 or the X button on Xbox. To quick stop and skid, hold R1 and X at the same time on PS4 or hold R1 and A at the same time on Xbox. For an instant sprint, tap the X button on PS4 or the A button on Xbox five times fast and hold. For a stop turn skid, hold R1, the X button on PS4, or the A button on Xbox, then hold the left thumbstick left or right. Next I'll show you off horse controls, which are really good walk away commands. To dismount your horse, tap triangle on PS4 or tap the Y button on Xbox. While looking back at your horse, hold the left trigger and tap triangle on PS4 
or the Y button on Xbox to get your horse to follow you. Keep holding the left trigger and tap square on the PS4 or tap the X button on the Xbox to get your horse to stay. Follow. Stay. To call your horse, just whistle by tapping up on the left D-pad on both PS4 and Xbox. For an urgent call, send a long whistle by holding up on the left D-pad for both PS4 and Xbox. Big Scout is too close to me for an urgent reaction, so I'll show you again in a minute. To dismiss your horse or to get your horse to flee, Hold the left trigger and tap circle on PS4 or tap the B button on Xbox. You usually flee your horse when you're under attack and you don't want your horse to get hurt or stolen. Or you may dismiss your horse to summon your hunting wagon. Now when you dismiss your horse, there'll be an approximate 60 second wait period before you can call your horse back again. Now here's that urgent long whistle call again, and you can see the big scout quickly tries to get to me. Now I'll show you horse care controls, which greatly increases bonding with your horse. To brush and clean your horse, hold the trigger and tap the left D-pad on both PS4 and Xbox. This will increase your horse's health and stamina. Feed your horse by holding the left trigger and tapping right on the D-pad for both PS4 and Xbox. This will fill your horse's health and stamina cores. And corn and carrots are the best horse food. You can pat your horse by holding left trigger and tapping square on PS4 or tapping the X button on Xbox. Doing this often helps increase bonding with your horse. Now to lead or walk your horse, hold the left trigger and tap triangle on PS4 or tap the Y button on Xbox. This is by far the fastest way to bond with your horse. If you have a horse that needs bonding, always walk your horse through towns or on long distances and you'll get your horse's bonding level up fast. Good boy. Next, I'm going to show you horse cruise control, which is hands-free travel on a horse. What you want to do first is set a waypoint to any destination on the map, which I'm going to choose Thieves Landing. Folks call this land opportunity. Well, I see as long as I got a gun. It all... Start heading in the direction of your destination. Then activate the horse cruise control by putting the game in cinematic mode by holding touchpad on the PS4 or holding the view button on Xbox. Once in cinematic mode, tap the X button five times on PS4 or tap the A button five times on Xbox to go into full automatic sprint. Now you can put your controller down and your horse is in cruise control. Usually this automatic travel is fairly safe but I chose this path to show you that cruise control is not always 100% reliable as you can see here. Sometimes you may experience holdups like these, head-on collisions with wagons, animal attacks, and other dangerous obstructions. So you may want to stay nearby to monitor your travel. We're still in horse cruise control, by the way. And now being on the run, you can see my horse is going way too fast for this bridge. Now if you run into trouble and get thrown from your horse, make sure that you immediately turn off cinematic mode or you won't be able to control the camera angle of your actions as you can see here. So now with cinematic mode off, I can get out of danger and continue to Thieves Landing. Get. 
With my waypoint still set, I'll cross this bridge manually and I'll go back to horse cruise control. Now I'm no longer manually controlling my horse. Thieves Landing is right around the corner, so you can see what happens when you reach your destination. Almost there, Big Scout. Okay, we just arrived at the waypoint and I'm still not touching the controls. And here we are on the last control, which is hitching your horse. When near a hitch post or a tree, tap triangle on PS4 or tap the Y button on Xbox to hitch your horse. And there you go. That was 33 horse controls. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If this video helped you out at all, be sure to subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. And don't forget to hit that bell to receive alerts.